Virgo Intacta. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lopez. So, we may proceed with her marriage. If we're to trust her doctor, if she were too old to bear children, my lord, there would be little sense in her marrying. Do we only marry to bear children? To contemplate the prospect of an heir, certainly. Is there another reason we should not approach the Duke of Anjou? Politics, religion, temperament, messenger. Ah, and of course, the Earl of Leicester. Francis Walsingham, my Lord Burley. Married men both and peddlers of our matrimonial state. You should wed each other since you think so highly of the condition. Certainly speed up the process of government. The Earl of Leicester has the familiar touch. For 19 years, Your Majesty, this council has implored you to secure your succession by marriage. You have refused all <sighs> suitors, but now... Do not say I will not marry, Lord Burley. The question before us is whom? Spain is the threat. Our uh, only hope is to divide the Catholic powers, put Spain oh against France. God. A union with the ruling house of France would do precisely that. Anjou, as brother to the King of France. Might is... I remind the council that although he may oppose the Spanish interests in the Netherlands, the Duke of Anjou is still a Catholic. But he's of the quiet kind, my lord. Biddable, they say. He'll pray in a corner if you ask him. He was a friend to the Protestant cause in France. Why, he's even had private conversation with Master Walsingham, who eats Catholics. <laughs> Where is Her Majesty? We understand she is at Greenwich. She spends much time there. The air is good there. What? Good air. And why are you not with her? That is indeed a very good question. My lord? I think it may be that Simier's master has arrived. Anjou? At Greenwich? The Queen is ready to be wooed. Why should he not be here, my lord? Is it any concern of yours? No, my concern, Lord Burley. I can't feel out of love for her. This marriage will not go. Her heart will be broken. Not yours. Or oh, his. Be the young one. French clown to be sent packing. My Lord of Leicester, may I remind you, we are but Her Majesty's counsel. We follow the Queen. Her Majesty doesn't seriously contemplate. May I suggest your Lordship? She is your taken Lordship. with the Duke, sir. <laughs> I say she is taken with him. And the security of our nation demands this match. What security? An alliance with France will protect us from Spain. The Catholic powers in Europe... Are the natural enemies of England. Anjou invaded the Netherlands as the protector of the Dutch Protestants. Ah. Was he, though? My lord, I have doubts as to his sincerity. I'm sorry? Whatever his motives, he was thrashed by the Spanish general. The Duke of Parma destroyed him. And he may simply be using us to regain his lands in Holland. Might it be the question of security? If we forge an alliance with France... We will put our religion in the gravest of dangers. France. The Frenchman is not serious in his affections. Marriage to our queen is not something he desires, except insofar as it may further his ambitions. She's far older than him anyway, and I don't I'm think she... I'm minded to box your ears, Lester. <laughs> I could be brisk or grave or gay. I could be as, as suave as a courtier or as sulky as a member of the Privy Council. The Queen is as young as the wives none of you deserve. I'm so sorry I would stay, but the Duke of Anjou craves my attendance at dinner. <laughs> <laughs>